agents. So today's topic is what are some common mistakes that real estate agents make? We all know there's probably about a zillion, but we're going to talk about a handful that I think is really important. The first one and most important one when people get into real estate or have lack of business is due to lack of prospecting. Real estate is a sales career. You must prospect. It does not land in your lap and it doesn't necessarily land in your computer or your email or your cell phone. So lack of prospecting is number one. It's a good habit to form to prospect and ask for business. Number two, inadequate market knowledge. People like to do business with people that know what they're talking about. That comes down to learning statistics. That comes down to knowing the area in which you work. So if you don't know an area and that is someplace that you want to work, my suggestion is Start with the demographics, drive the area, do some other things to become very familiar with that area. Number three, neglecting ongoing education. This one's a big one for me. I've been in business over 28, going on 29 years, and I still take classes every year that has nothing to do with getting my real estate license renewed. Education is a big one, and it's how you get smarter at what you do, not just a prerequisite class. Number four, and this one is a big one. This is the biggest complaint we have of us from the public is lack of communication. Learning good communication skills as well as a system for communication is extremely important. Also this one, and it's very common, over-promising and under-delivering. Just never a good idea, never. Don't promise what you know you will not deliver on. And it is much better not to promise anything and then blow them away with your excellence. Number six, inadequate marketing and branding. This is very, very true. You are in business. Every good business has a great marketing and branding plan. Most agents lack at this completely. Even when you work for a broker, it is not your broker's job to do all that for you. You are an individual and individual business. It is important for you to work on that on your own as well. Number seven, lack of organization. This is how you multiply what you can do. Organization is key. Systems are key. It's how you can do more and accomplish more without being overwhelmed. Number eight, not building a professional network. This is really important as well, not just in real estate, but in other fields. Develop that professional network. Number nine, ignoring the importance of negotiation skills. And boy, over the years, I have seen some very poor negotiation skills, which absolutely astounds me when someone is helping someone spend the most amount of money ever. But most importantly, remember, it's a win-win in negotiations, not a screw you. That usually ends out bad. Number 10, neglecting self-care. And this one is a big one with me too. It is important to learn that we are not a 24 seven business. There is no business that operates well at 24 seven. You must learn to master your time and handle it. One of the most important phrases you can learn is, I have an appointment at that time. I'm not available. So would you be available at this time? Hopefully that's some great tips for you all. If we can ever answer questions, please feel free to reach out. If you have a question you want to share and see me answer it at some time, please reach out and let us know. I'm Missy Stegers, team leader of the Missy Stegers team and broker owner of M. Stegers Realty Partners. Thanks for joining me today.